One day when I was working as managing director of Safeway in Australia, who were owned in America, um, and I was at their head office in San Francisco. I was interested in what's new in America, what's happening. And they said, look, we'll take you down to our basement. There are a couple of guys down there that are working on a, a system. I went down there and it was, just seemed so weird to me that I probably became fascinated because it was weird, but I didn't really understand what they were trying to do. And then one day I was visiting and they said, Bill, you know, you've been interested in that um, numbering system we got down the basement. I said, well, we've progressed and we're wanting to try it in one of our stores. How did it go? And they said, well, we're very happy with it. We're going to pursue it. So that's when I came back to Australia and thought well, we should be looking at something like that there. They uh, eventually gave us a number, 93. <laughs> they were trying to bring in a rule to say that every product that was sold in retail had to have a price mark on it. An adjoining rule that barcoding be illegal. The minister in charge was a gentleman, Peter Spiker. I remember going in to see him and saying, please, Minister, you know, if this law goes through, the, world, the rest of the world are going to use this. The union had picked it up and said it was going to send the checkers blind. Back comes the minister, the health department, who was going to poison the food. So then the health department did a study which went on and came back and there was no truth in any of it. <laughs> it just became a question of trying to persuade the uh, manufacturers. We'd have to go and see them and say, listen, Heinz are going to do it, why don't you do it? And that sort of thing went on for quite some time. Of course, eventually everyone did it. Being part of GS1 gives us credibility in the industry. It gives us an opportunity to give back to industry as well. We worked with GS1 to standardise how we do our product identification across a number of our business units. And it's been a very successful exercise. We've now got a standard tag across our operations in Newcastle, Sydney and Melbourne, all compliant with GS1 standards and our customers are starting to really embrace using that scanning and capability of those product tags. Labelling is becoming more and more important over time. We've got to have everything down absolutely correctly. The nutritional panels are very important. The barcodes are very important as well. Sizing, you've got to get a lot of information on that label and you've got to make sure it's right. So it's critical that all that information is correct, it is clear and it's there for everybody to see. Another great feature from GS1 is their recall tool. It is a really fast and efficient tool that allows us to send an email through the system directly to all the distribution centres and stores and track where every single item that is under a recall notice is in our network and it can be pulled as quickly as 30 minutes after we've got notification of a recall or withdrawal notice. One scan, all collected, done. It's hard to imagine that it could have grown to be the size that this whole industry is today.